guys started the program without me. Coming up in the next half hour, Diane Lane, the lovely, the talented, uh, gifted young actress, Diane Lane. Uh, also, uh, the lovely, the talented, the gifted young Carl Perkins will be with the band. What are you boys playing tonight, eh? Oh, we're going to do one of Carl's hits. One and of his hits. what might it be? Honey, don't. Honey, Honey don't. don't. Great. Also Great. recorded by the Beatles. Yeah. Carl has his blue suede shoes on this evening. Is that right? Oh, pretty cool. <laughs> nice going, Carl. And I have mine. <laughs> Hey, Will's got his on. And I have also mine. My blue and Will has them on, so, so we have a three pair of blue suede shoes. Uh, tomorrow on the uh, big program, Dana Delaney uh, from Knott's Landing will be with us and the world's most prolific knitter, huh? She's on China Beach. China she? Beach. She's on China Beach. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and the world's most prolific knitter, Gwen Matthew Mann. Oh, Gwen. Now, what is this going to be? Is this, Morty, like a truckload of knitting? Now, this better be, if this is the world's most prolific knitter, this woman better have, like, four tons of knitting with yeah, her. She has. She has. Really? She's starting a sweater for you tonight. Right. And it'll be finished tomorrow. Hardly prolific. That's pretty prolific. Quick, but maybe not prolific. Yes, but will we see an example yes. of her prolificness? Yes, you will. All right. It better be in tonnage. Truckloads. Uh, Sam Kinison will be on the program tomorrow night. And uh, musician Lonnie Match is sitting in with the band. Lonnie Mack, he, Lonnie... Is, he is so Damn. fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> typos, typos, yeah. typos. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, kids, it's... Boy, you know, the nice thing about my birthday, it comes once a year. I get... Everybody is very nice to me today. Yeah. The well, staff and everybody has been very, and, and very you nice. deserve it. Uh, well, I don't know that I deserve it, but I'm enjoying it. Are I you saying most, most days the staff treats you Acrimony? like... Acrimony? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just right. saying that I'm enjoying this one little benefit of having a birthday. Oh, good. Happy it's been birthday. very, very nice tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow, I'll pay through the nose. Uh, on the program tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from the runaway blockbuster television hit of the decade, China Beach, Dana Delaney will be joining us. Uh, also, Sam Kinison is on the program tonight. And we have right now in our green room, all the way from uh, Great Britain, a very nice woman by the name of Gwen Matthew Man. Don't go in there now. Hey, don't, hey, hey, I said, hey, I said, don't go in there now. Oh, it's too damn late. They've gone in there now. Uh, there she is. No. Oh, someone get the Dramamine. Hi. Hello. My, my diary smells like pork. Uh, the world's most prolific knitter, and I understand she's knitting right now. And by the time the show is finished, I'll have a, a what? A lovely, scarf. a lovely scarf. Now, now, if anybody knits, do you folks knit? No. <laughs> uh, this is pretty quick, and it's uh, like a seven-foot scarf. Like seven yeah, I, I wish we could see her in action now, but I think it's virtually impossible. <laughs> I was hoping for a little sequined number myself. Uh, have plenty of band-aids for that woman. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our good friend Paul Schaefer. He's right over there. Hey, boys. Boys. We have to do a commercial. We have a wonderful program. Dana Delaney, Sam Kinison, and the world's most prolific knitter. We, we like to keep it cold in here, but if you're cold, we can get you a sweater. You want a sweater? Yeah, I would. Bring the woman a sweater, please. We, we have several uh, thousand sweaters that our uh, knitter has. By the way, Hal, how is the knitter doing back uh, there in the green room? Oh, good. Oh, dear. There you are. Yeah, yeah. Great. There she is. There she is. Yeah. Wow. Hal, uh, dim the lights and let's take a look at the sparks. What is that? It's my, it's my oh, get her a sweater. This is no fun. I said a sweater. Get the woman a damn sweater. Do we have sweaters back here? Thank you very much. Here. Look, here's a lovely little... Uh, that's 
you slip into that? You need some help with that? No. There, that's better, isn't it? Oh, much better. How would you like some cocoa? <laughs> uh, now, you, uh, boy, that, that looks terrific, doesn't it? I like it, it? yeah. yeah. Uh, she knitted this. I know. Well, she knitted the dress that she's wearing. She knitted everything, yeah. yeah. Um, there she goes. Do. Hello, welcome back. Let's check on the scarf. Can we, Hal? Do we have some knitting music, okay, boys? Carl, you want to go and get All the right. Scarf, oh, here we go. Uh, coming up uh, on the show tonight, Sam Jennison will be joining us. We have the world's fastest knitter, Gwen the Matthew Man, right there. How long is the scarf now, Gwen? Can you hear me? Hello, Gwen. How long is the scarf? How long is that scarf? Wow. And it seems to be narrower than most scarves. <laughs> it's a two-inch scarf there. Uh, let us know when you're done, uh, Gwen. Uh, next week, it's Pete Fatovich week, ladies and gentlemen, and Monday kicks it off with a visit from actress uh, Kathleen Turner, musician Lou Reed, and uh, rodeo champ Lynn Junkowski. So, now what are we going to do? We're going to pause now for station identification. We'll be right back. Oh! In the commercial breaks, we're taping these uh, promos for upcoming shows, and it's it's like having a part-time job. Yeah. <laughs> Very Hi, hey, frankly, I'm exhausted. It's hectic. I'm exhausted. I, I could use a new vacation. Really? Yeah, thank God I have that lovely scarf. I'll wear it when I go motoring in the country. That's... It's about this wide. <laughs> Several miles long and an inch and five-eighths wide. <clears throat> Sounded great. Look who's dropped in here next on Dave's Broadway Cavalcade. Hi. Uh, for 25 years, our guest here has uh, been named in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's fastest and most prolific knitter from Yorkshire. Yorkshire? Yes. Yorkshire, England. Please welcome Gwen Matthewman. Gwen, nice to see you. Hop right back there. Gwen, how, how long have you been knitting? When did you start? As a little girl? Yeah, when I was seven. Seven years old, how did you pick it up? Did your mom knit? No. Your father knit? No. Yeah? How did you uh, acquire the interest? One of the neighbors used to help me if I got stuck. Mm -hmm. So you just started on your own and the neighbors yeah. would help you? Right. Yeah. And you've been knitting nonstop ever since? Yep. Yeah. And who feeds you? <laughs> uh, how, how do you know that you're the world's most fastest, although it seems to me to be clear in this case? Is there a competition? Yeah. Uh-huh. I see. <laughs> And, and, and you, won them all. you've won them all. Is yeah. it an annual competition? No. Uh huh. Every other year? No. It's, it's in the Olympics every four years. <laughs> um, where, where was the last competition held? Japan. Oh, Japan. Yeah. I see. And, and, and how? Uh, tell me about that. Well, they, they've got a knitting professor. Mm -hmm. A guy who teaches knitting. A woman. A woman who teaches knitting. And she's at knitting schools. Mm -hmm. And I was took out to knit again the two fastest knitters. Mm -hmm. But they didn't tell me this. They you didn't know them. they were the world's, no. their two fastest, yeah. And then you beat them. I beat them. Handily? Pardon? I say, you beat them handily? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Paul, yeah. oh, you have any questions? <laughs> yeah, how many miles an hour is she going? Yeah, there? how many miles an hour are you going there? I, and 811 stitches a minute. 811 stitches? 111. 111 stitches. That's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. very impressive. Now, okay, how do we know you're the world's most prolific knitter? Well, I've been in the Guinness Book of Records 25 years. Right, and so when they send a guy around to your place, what, does he just go to the garage and start counting sweaters? <laughs> <laughs> How, how close are you to finishing that? I have another ball of wool here. Now, do your, do your, does your family mind you knitting all the time? No. Yeah? Well, I see. <laughs> okay. uh, well, it's certainly been a pleasure having you here to knit. Is, is it, are you done with the, uh, the scarf? Nearly. Yeah? yeah. I've knit you a sweater. Oh, this is a beautiful sweater. Now, how long did it take you to knit this sweater? It took me six hours last night to knit six that. Six hours? Yeah. Wow, this is, this is beautiful. 
This, this is like like a blend, like 50-50 here? No, that's no. P.O.O. <laughs> I know. It's just, I'm trying to make a little joke. <laughs> this, is, this is a beautiful garment. Now, do you sell these? No. Yeah. Oh, you don't? No. Nope. Well, you, you could make a lot of dough. I know I could. Yeah. Now, if I were to go into a store, what would this cost me? About $150. $150, bucks, that's right. Now, how, how long would it take a normal, a mortal knitter <laughs> to, to knit this sweater? Maybe about 10 days. 10 days. You did it in six hours. Yeah. Okay. All right, so are we done here with the uh, scarf? There. Okay. Are we? Are, are we? Are we done with the scarf? We have to do a commercial, and we'll be right back here with uh, Gwen Matthew Man. I'm very pleased to have the sweater, and thank you also for the scarf. Do you have, do you have any tricks that you use to make this uh, a shortcut? No. No? Yeah? Uh, I do think you, you should put your sweater and your scarf sweater, on. Put my sweater and my scarf on. Uh, by the way, Sam Kinison will be at Nassau Coliseum tomorrow night. You want to go? <laughs> oh, you're going home tonight? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Let me slip this on. Uh, have a nice weekend, folks. Uh, we'll see you next week for uh, Pete Fadovich Week. This is lovely.